Hi everybody and welcome to this tour rotation reveal video for season 68 which is coming up here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Before we bring you all the details of this course rotation a thumb up would be massively appreciated and if you're not subscribed already make sure you click that subscribe button. It is totally free to do so. So the last rotation was season 65 so three on from that. Season 68, it's starting, of course, Monday the 20th of November. And in this video, we're going to look at all of the courses uh, that are being used in the tours. Obviously, Tour 1 and Tour 2 remaining unchanged, but there are changes from Tour 3 all the way up to Tour 13. So we're going to have a look at what is out and what is in, according to which tour you're going to be playing. Now, as a friendly reminder, if you want to support the channel, you can do so head over to patreon.com forward slash BK Golf Clash. And if you're wanting to dive in to some new tour play courses, uh, if you're experiencing uh, a few new locations or you want some help with general elevations, our shootout sheets for this tour rotation are available now and they are available with all of our Patreon packages. So uh, head over there and support the channel and get some help with this course rotation as well. Let's have a look then at what courses are in this new tour rotation. Season 68 going live Monday 20th of November. Here we go. Three, four and five on your screen now. Young Sand Gardens going in on Tour 3 paired with a Tour 3 Classic of Secura Hills. Tour 4, we've got the first appearance of East Lake in Tour Play. It's coming later on in the tours as well. That is paired with Glen Monarch Estates. A very nice pairing there. Tour 5, though, some lengthy par 5s to deal with there. Chateau Lavande and Jubilee Grove with the alternate set of pin locations. Nice contrast on Tour 6. We've got the lengthy holes of Quail Hollow, uh, fairly flat, as well as the Milano being a fairly flat course, but with the newer pin locations. A couple of tricky ones there, though. Eagle Peak, a nice contrast, though, with the elevation changes there on Tour 6. Tour number seven also has some elevation to deal with and a lot of water. Kohong Resort 2, the Oasis 2 and staying in Tour 7, Jamil Dunes. Tour number eight, the Mountain Tour, Shifung Basin going there alongside Greenock Point and Groomberg Slopes again with set two of pins there. And the Greenock Point, of course, is the newly reworked version. I said that East Lake would be back and here it is in tour number nine. So I think there's going to be a lot of shootouts there because those par fours are short and fairly easy. However, the par fives are a little bit challenging. Talking of challenging holes, White Cliffs Golf Club going in there as well and Acacia Reserve staying put from the previous rotation. Tour 10, some absolute classics here. Harking back to my days of playing Tour 10, Gakasho Bay, Nordic Fjords, however, with the new pins, and Porthello Cove staying there for a few more seasons. Tour number 11, Oldbridge Park 2. I know that's not everybody's favourite, but it could be worse. Sierra Plateau, and finally, those lengthy par fives of Sharuba Springs, particularly from third tee. And for the big hitters in Tour 12 and 13, uh, here's your courses. So Tour 12, Maple Bay, Lake Wabasca, Drummore Lynx and Centenary Harbour. And then a real mixed bag in Tour 13. There's some uh, nasty ones there. City Park 2, Waterfield Sands, but then you've got a couple of easier ones, i.e. Secura Hills and Sunshine Glades. Amongst those four, of course, you've also got Wiseacre Ranch. So a real mixture there in the highest tour. Thank you for watching this rotation reveal video. I hope you found it useful and don't forget to check us out on Patreon if you want those general elevation shootout sheets. They are available right now. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the changes, if there's any you like or dislike, and if it is going to mean you are stepping up into a new tour. If so, the very best of luck. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.